Hello traders, it's Thursday, February the 9th, and here's our daily market review. U.S. investors saw a choppy day of trading in the equity markets, as the three major indexes produced gains on the S&P and Nasdaq, but saw slight losses on the Dow Industrials. President Trump remains a fickle point for investors as questions continue to be asked about the White House administration's hope to make the U.S. dollar weaker, while the Federal Reserve continues to speak about interest rate hikes. This has produced mixed trading in forex surrounding the U.S. dollar. Weekly unemployment claims data will come from the states today. Asian markets have turned in cautious trading early on Thursday, while the core machinery orders and M2 money stock data from Japan showed improvements this morning, investors continue to display risk-adverse tendencies. Prime Minister Abe of Japan will be meeting US President Trump tomorrow in Washington. The get-together may be casting a shadow over equity and forex trading in Asia. The yen has remained strong against the US dollar in recent days. European equities finished Wednesday with mixed results, essentially reflecting the cautious trading seen globally. The UK Parliament passed another round of Brexit voting yesterday. The pound has seen a slight move upwards against the US dollar, while the euro has remained in a tight range. German trade balance numbers have been released this morning, but traders are likely more focused on political clouds in the European Union, which are casting dark shadows, particularly from France for the moment. Gold has continued to show the ability to gain. The precious metal continues to attract speculative traders who may believe gold was oversold in early December. Crude oil has seen a slight rise in value. However, supply numbers in the US were strong yesterday and crude oil could see volatility the next two days. Investors will watch the weekly unemployment claims from the US at 1pm GMT. Thank you for watching, have a good trading day and we'll see you again soon.